Hi, in this video we're going to evaluate this indefinite integral as a power series and we're going to find the radius of convergence. So in order to do this, we're going to use a formula. So recall if you have one over one minus x, this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from zero to infinity of x to the n. And this is valid if the absolute value of x is less than one. So this is the formula that, that you usually have. This is given in pretty much every book and it's studied in calculus two. And basically if you know about infinite geometric series, that's all this is except your r is equal to x. And remember the geometric series will converge if the absolute value of r is less than one. In this case it's x where x is a real number. So really, really cool um, equation here because it relates an infinite series, which is basically a limit of a finite sum to an actual function of x, so very neat. So here, we're going to use this formula to evaluate this integral. So the way I'm going to do it, and I haven't done this problem yet, is to find an infinite series representation for this function, and then we'll just integrate term by term. Should be pretty straightforward. Let's just start um, doing it right away. I think we can do it all at once. t over one minus t to the eighth, Okay, that's going to be t times 1 over 1 minus t to the 8th. I wrote it like that. I put the t out front because uh, I want to emphasize that there is a 1 in the numerator. So, you know, just using matching. And then this is going to be our x right here. Okay, that's our x. So this is going to be t times infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And instead of x to the n, it's going to be t to the 8th to the n, how beautiful is that, right? And this is going to be valid if the absolute value of t to the eighth is less than one, okay? And um, that basically means that um, the absolute value of t is less than one. And so that basically means that your interval is gonna look something like this. And so your radius is gonna be one. The radius is the distance from the center to one of the endpoints. This is a power series centered at zero, so easy way to get um, the radius. All right, um, so let's keep going here. This is equal to t times the infinite sum as n runs from zero to infinity. Here you multiply, so it's t to the eight n. And now we can take this t and distribute it through into our sum. So we have n equals zero to infinity, t to the eight n, plus one because there's a one here. And when you multiply variables and the bases are the same, you're supposed to add the exponents. It's one of the properties of exponents in mathematics. All right, so we have that this infinite, uh, this function is equal to this infinite sum. So now we're going to integrate. Oops, where to get the plus from? It came out of nowhere because it doesn't exist. <laughs> DT. And then we're going to integrate um, this. I'll write it just to look cool. I'll put the integral outside the sum because it looks cool like this. t to the 8n plus 1 dt. So this is equal to, so then you just basically integrate each one term by term. So you just use the power rule. So you just add 1 to the exponent. So this is going to be the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. So you add 1. So it'll be t to the 8n plus 2 over 8n plus 2 plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that's it. And the radius of convergence was 1. So pretty uh, easy to do, not uh, difficult at all. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.